Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here in Bavaria uh, for my second day here uh, for an Altov Hotel. And I'm here at the Altov Sea Hotel Uberfahrt on the Tegernsee. Which, if you want to translate that, uh, we are actually on a wonderful lake here in Bavaria. Uh, it's spectacular, and you'll see the scenes of it. I'm here with the general manager, Vincent Ludwig, uh, and we've had a marvelous day so far. And I got one more night here, and then actually I'm on to other uh, uh, hotels in the same group and we're going to talk to Vincent about this wonderful property and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. First of all, Vincent, uh, great to see you. I mean, you're all here because you're all, all the general managers of all the Altov and Amran hotels are here, right? Yes, we have a general manager's conference right now and um, I'm happy to have all the colleagues here to show the nice scenery here. We have good weather and um, hopefully we have a great event. Yeah, because yeah, there's no scenery here. I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And, and there's a church in the distance. Every morning I get waken up by the church bells uh, or at least I can see them. And we're surrounded by beautiful now, slightly snow covered mountains but tell, 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 tell us a little bit about the history of this hotel because it's it feels like it's been here forever but it's actually it was constructed i think in like 2000 sometime right the construction is from 2000 the history dates back till the 15th century where it was just a small yeah small hut actually with a, just a having you're far, you're far from that now you're not a small hut anymore not 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 anymore no no <laughs> but but we we keep the history and um we like to have the um yeah the the spaciousness now um but we have the the scenery and actually yeah it was built as a small hotel and then we 2000 in 2000 we yeah made it to yeah a very nice beautiful place which is uh, now um yeah has the main um, purpose on having good culinary um wellness a big spa and of course um yeah doing outdoor activities which is uh, which is perfect here too no, absolutely and you are famous for your cuisine and everything else in Altov but let's talk about that first of all let's talk about the accommodations we're in one of your beautiful suites uh, I'm lucky enough to have another one and if you knew what was behind us there's a beautiful view of the lake and the, the mountains but you how, how many uh, keys do you have in the hotel we have 176 rooms and we have uh, an inclusive 53 suite which is very nice because we have a different kind of suites or different sizes and of course this is uh, perfect every every room has a balcony or a terrace um, every two-thirds are facing the lake um, and otherwise the the beautiful mountains so and the, decor, the decor is really amazing you're seeing a little bit of it here uh, and you'll see more of it in, in the photos that we show uh, but it really is perfect it feels very comfortable uh, very, very easy to, to live in for a significant part of time and you want and you're also uh, family friendly even dog friendly if I know we are dog friendly family friendly and um, we have a claim which we are saying it's an ele elegant nature resort so we are we are using the nature here so that we have a yeah, combination with the nature but should be elegant as well we have a five-star deluxe hotel and you should feel it the, the luxury but in the you, sh you should know that you are not in New York, so you are here at Bavaria and Tegernsee, but have the final elegance touch in the, in the rooms. Um, yeah, families are more yes, are important. We want to keep the, the children for the next generation. We want to next have guess, yeah, right? <laughs> the next guest. And of course, we are dogs. We are very dogs friendly. There's, um, uh, the, the surrounding is perfect to have a walk with dogs, and so therefore we are very dog friendly as well. We are having one, one floor for dogs and the other ones are um, without dogs yeah. and indeed last night uh you have we're going to talk about culinary I, you have a wonderful restaurant that's actually off campus a little around the lake which is kind of your your steak and local food uh and, and what is that called that's the it's the fair at 14 mm -hmm. 14 because this was the year that we opened um, this restaurant mm -hmm. and it's a 20 minutes uh, walk just a more walk along the lake um, to this uh, to this it's actually it's a beach club event 
and the restaurant and um it's a yeah it's, it's a wonderful place it's a, actually it's a little bit a hip place here yeah. actually good for weddings as well um really a hut maybe a restaurant in the in the lake it built on uh, on wood um in the lake which is uh, they have a nice terrace overlooking the lake it's a beautiful beautiful scenery and the, of course we are using the fresh fishes from the lake which is uh yeah well but, last night i had a local uh, a steak from a local farm uh that was wonderful i had uh i was totally full by the end of it and but i had to have the dessert because it was a very different kind of rice pudding and i really liked it a lot and at, at that point, they, you were nice enough to get me a, a, a car. You actually have Lucid cars here, which is yes. interesting, which is an American uh, EV, and they're beautiful cars. And you took, they had a driver take me there. But then because I had I'd overindulged in the food, I felt like I needed to walk back. I walked back in the rain, but it was okay. It was fine. Yes, we are we're having Lucid cars. We have a cooperation with them. Just uh, recently we started, which is, uh, which is good because everybody is looking for electric cars, and now the cooperation is very very good even you can uh, experience the lucid cars as a guest not only that we get uh, a shuttle you are able to to have few hours to drive um, through the mountains and nice roads there to experience the lucid car as well yeah, that, um, was, that was amazing it was really nice to, to see that but again it was lovely to walk even though it was a little bit a little bit rainy last night uh, I came back and now, but then you have restaurants here in, in the hotel that are amazing as well talk a little bit about what you, what else you have here yeah actually we have in, in total we have five restaurants one outside what we've mentioned before then we have four restaurants in-house there's one Italian restaurant where we are serving I think, I think I'm having lunch there. So. Yes, uh, this is really, um, and there it's authentic Italian cuisine, which is very important for us, that it's um, really authentic. And um, Cucina Casalinga, which really there you feel the, the mama behind the, behind the cooking places. And uh, we are, every year we are going with our chefs and our restaurant managers once to Italy, that they still keep on this tradition to cook very, yeah, authentic. Um, and not um, yeah, going into to do too, too fancy things so that the really basic stuff and the basic, basic Italian fun like that. Therefore, we are going to every year to to Italy to that they really stick on their original recipes. Then we have um, um, a Bavarian restaurant. Of course, you need this in Bavaria to yeah. have the schnitzel and the really. Um, well, they have schnitzel at the one up up the lake too. Yes, they, as well. Yeah. This, but so the Bavarian restaurant and what is that has all the different Bavarian specialties. Yeah, all well, the specialty was what you want to have uh, even. Kaiserschmarrn and all these um, what what you expect from Bavaria, even the Bavarian beer, of course. And um, then we have the Egner Bucht. Egner Bucht is a is a Alpine Alpine cuisine, um, which is uh, has the best products from from the Alp pine area um, so it's more local regional food um, local farms um, local producers and we are serving the you know, even some Bavaria Austria Switzerland so these are the the Alpine region and we are serving the best from from this region in this restaurant and finally we have a gourmet restaurant um, we had um, yeah 10 years in a row we had three Michelin stars and now we are um, changing the yeah, I saw you or you will have a new chef by later this year I believe yes we uh, got a female chef and now we are trying to get the female chef to yeah okay she has already one Michelin star but we want to get getting um, more getting getting, more. getting more and uh, she's one of the um, one of the most talented uh, female chefs in Germany and um, therefore we what's, are, what's her name it's Cornelia Fischer Cornelia Fischer and she will join us in, in summer and then we yeah hope that we will um, yeah get the next um, maybe stars and uh, culinary yeah uh, well, you get accolades. You'll, you'll have to come back and try that food. Yeah, for, of course you have to. You have to, and she is as well. She is looking for regional products, and but she's not uh, not only focusing on regional. She really thinks in what's going on in the, in the world, and then um, putting these both things together. Fantastic. Now, great cuisine, and of course you have a really a fairly large spa here, right? This spa is very large, and three thousand square meter. But uh, there are plans uh, now to even getting more to renovate a little bit to do something with the spa to yeah extend it a little bit to the outside area as well 
and um, but okay we have 10 uh, 10 treatment rooms and the the indoor pool is 28 meters it's beautiful it's gorgeous which really, pool. Which, yeah more than olympic nearly uh, meters uh, which very great um, a perfect uh, perfect area to relax and um, yeah after after walking around the mountains to come back having a massage relax at the pool you, uh, you've perfect. convinced me i think that's the way to go and there's actually an outdoor pool too and it's not the season for it right now but not but, yet, but starts so in, in uh, in April, so we are shortly before Easter. Easter is uh, 20 degrees, so then um, we are opening the outdoor pool, and then the outdoor season will start. Now, where, what do people do while they're here? I mean, you mentioned they're hiking; they can go all around the place. Uh, it's not too far from skiing, I guess, but uh, but you're not really a ski resort. But uh, but you, there's a lot of stuff to do in the mountains here, right? Yes, of course. We you you could ski, but we are not a skiing resort. It's maybe for families. It's nice for the for one two days. It's it's uh, okay for skiing. But actually, it's um, all what you can imagine to do in the nature. You can do here. If it's hiking, if it, even we have a lake in front of you, can and doing water sports here as well and um, just um, enjoying the nature so and this is the, what the what the people are doing the here you can find really the authentic idyllic scenery postcard like in a fairy tale and you see you can really find everything go five minutes into the mountain into the forest and you have the perfect nature scenery no, absolutely it's really gorgeous and i think in any in europe and uh whole year round right yes we open whole year round and um, even here the you have the, all the seasons, the four seasons, you really see and feel here. It's uh, sometimes in other areas um, you have maybe you have winter and then you have summer, but there, there's no spring or autumn. But here, it's um, all season has this really wonderful, yeah, touch. Now, how long have you been general manager here? Fifteen years already. Wow! So you've so, you've been seeing it. Yeah. As uh, I mentioned, it, uh, there are worse places than here, so therefore I, I stayed here for now 15 years. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, what would you tell, anything else you'd like to tell our travel agents, travel advisors out there from the U.S. about this property? I know uh, it would be a great place for bringing families. It's a great place. Also, it's very close to Munich, about 45 minutes to an hour, right? Yes, this one, for Munich, the airport, you're here in one hour, mm -hmm. one hour drive from the airport. Salzburg is uh, nearby as well, a little bit more than one hour, and it's supposed to be a perfect start um, yeah, for maybe a, a vacation, even if you want to travel around to see maybe... Or, some, or the end of a vacation where you can relax a little bit. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. And mm -hmm. if, you, if you imagine Germany, or if you may, then you, most of the people have um, as, a, as a picture Bavaria. And here you feel the real Bavaria, but it's not, it's really authentic. It's, uh, it's uh, really, you see the tradition and the, the people are very friendly and it's not overcrowded. It's really calm, safe, and um, yeah, the perfect place uh, to relax and uh, yeah, have a good time. And, and I'm trying to have a good time here uh, with uh, marvelous eating, uh, incredible scenery. I still got two restaurants to go here. Uh, and so and then sadly, I'll have to leave tomorrow and go see some more of your sister hotels. Uh, Neuschwanstein, uh, uh, the I should say yeah. that the castle. Even and this then, is one hour, yeah, one hour, 10 minutes drive. So everything is very close by. You can even doing the tours with the castle, the different castles or sightseeing spots. So um, it's even therefore it's a good place to start or having a base and then going and doing some sightseeing from here. Now, what's the website for this? Where can travel advisors go to find out more information? I think altofhotels.com is one. Yes. Altof Collection, because you're part of .com. Uh, any other place they can find more information? Yeah, okay, it's seehotel-überfahrt.com, which is very difficult for the Überfahrt. Überfahrt means crossing over, crossing over the lake. Therefore, the name comes from, um, because uh, in former times there was a uh, actually, um, a boat which took uh, the people from the it's one like, like a ferry that like comes a ferry, from yes, and this was the the yeah the it station. The, yes, Fantastic. so that's the history of this place. Look, it's an amazing property. It would be great to come. I know a lot of people have river cruises, which aren't too far away. Yeah. Uh, they start in in places like Passau and and uh, uh, and and when I, I've done it, I've actually taken uh, a, a car service from there. Th pretty much through here yeah. area all the way up to Munich but if you want to after a post river cruise or something like this this would be a perfect place to to, to stop either whether you're a couple or whether you're a family yes exactly they're one and a half hours drive maybe from uh, from Passau so and um, yeah you can do the river cruise and then yeah make a stop here and uh, relax and then you really see the Bavaria which is really in the yeah in the authentic 
scenery and there's you find the tradition even in summer times i may i mentioned this one there are these forest festivals though there are festivals in the forest so they have places and they're all there coming with their traditional uniforms and it's everything it's really great you have the local brewery here you have the local food and this is a regular festival which you can't find anywhere no, and actually, I did get a bottle of the local beer. Uh, you was a nice gift, and I, I, I don't drink that much beer, but this one I had to try, and it was very good. Vincent, I want to thank you for taking the time uh, to speak with me here in your hotel. Uh, thank you for your hospitality. It, it's thank been you. amazing. Your staff is fantastic. That's the other thing we didn't mention. Your staff is really, uh, 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 and uh, everyone speaks English if you're if you don't speak German. Uh, it really is a, a wonderful staff, and, and they've really taken care of me very well. Still got tonight to go with, uh, and then tomorrow I'm off to the next one again thank you so much thank you very much and i hope to see each other here at the lake tegansee very soon and um yeah we and uh, my team is uh, waiting for you thank you i'm james Schillinglaw, and this is insider travel report